The first step to drawing an impossible hexagon is to draw a regular hexagon. Here's a very simple way to draw a perfect hexagon. First, mark a dot in the middle of your paper. This will be the center of your impossible hexagon. Use a compass to draw a circle around this dot. The six points of our hexagon will be evenly spaced along this circle. To find the first two points, simply draw a horizontal line through the center dot. Mark the two points of contact between the line and the circle. Now let's find the other four points. Set your compass to the same width as the radius of the circle. Then pivot off one of the points and mark the two intersections between the compass and the circle. Repeat this process for the other side. These intersections are the four remaining points of our hexagon. Now just connect the points to form the shape. Next, let's draw a smaller hexagon inside this one. To do this, simply draw all the sides of the big hexagon again, except move them inward so that they form a new hexagon. Be sure to keep the spacing between the lines uniform throughout. Okay, so there's our medium hexagon. Now let's repeat the process and draw yet another hexagon inside this one. Just to make it interesting, I'll make the spacing a little bit bigger this time. So I'll use the width of my ruler to measure things out. And there's our small hexagon. Next, let's ink in the large and small hexagon because we know for sure these are the lines we want to keep. I'll be using a 1.0 Copic multi-liner pen and you can find a link to all the materials in the description. Now let's ink in the rest of the drawing. There's a lot of lines here so it can get a bit confusing. The best way to think about this is to imagine that you're trying to get from the large hexagon to the small hexagon using these rows. Here's what I mean. Let's start with this corner. Here you have your choice of two rows. For the first one, it doesn't matter which one you pick. So let's just go with this one. Follow this row down until you reach the far edge of the small hexagon. Then make a turn to connect to it. And that's it. Now let's do this corner. Again, we have a choice of two rows. But since this one is already taken, we'll have to use the other one. Once again, follow this road down until you get to the far edge of the small hexagon and then make a turn to connect to it. Now let's repeat this process for the other four corners. Once you're done, just erase the pencil guidelines to reveal our impossible hexagon. Then I'll use a 2B and a 4B pencil to add a gradation at the six inner corners of the shape. And I'll also add a gradation at the six outer corners as well. And lastly, I'll use a 4B pencil to add a hard shadow next to these lines in order to create the illusion that the parts are overlapping each other. And we're all done! For this week's giveaway, the prize will be a $20 Amazon gift card and the signed drawing in this video. To win, all you have to do is click on that link right there to go to the Facebook post for this lesson. Then simply share and like the post to enter. A winner will be randomly selected on this date, so make sure you get your submission in before then. I hope you enjoyed this video, and remember, I release a new video every Friday, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you so much again for watching, and until next time, happy drawing.